Look, we have no further statements. Listen, okay? we're not going to be doing much. Why don't you guys uh, take the rest of the afternoon off? No, 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 Matt. I'll stay and help you with the phones. No, that's all right, really. Uh, you know, actually, we, we do have some work to do. We do? Yes, we, we have to do some costume arrangements for that, uh, for that telephone shoot. Costume arrangements? Right. Um, Nat, are you sure? Are you yeah, sure? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Less people here, the better. All right, but I want you to call us if you need us at all. Will do. Okay. Ah, excuse me. What was that all about? I told you, costumes. Whose? Costumes, like the one you're wearing right now. <laughs> oh, I see. As a matter of fact, I, I, I think what you're wearing underneath this might just be perfect for the telephone shoot. Honey, I'd love to. But don't you think we should stick around just in case? Well, I, I, I think they have a lot of work to do, and it's just between them. I, I honestly think that we'd only be in the way. <sighs> Okie doke. Let's go home. What color are you wearing underneath there, anyway? Pink? White, Guess you'll have to catch eggs. me just to find out. Ooh, here I come. Yeah, well, DNM has no comment at this time. What is this? We're gonna get these all night here? Well, I wonder whose fault that is. You know, you and the boyfriend are so quick to point the first finger, but you're never around when there are problems to be solved. What? Dean wants what he wants exactly when he wants it, and unless he gets exactly that, we get squawked. Oh, Lorna, please don't try to turn this around, my darling. You're the one that brought in Carl Hutch. I brought in okay? money, and at the time, that was all that mattered to any yeah, of you. We didn't know where it came from when I asked you directly about it. You lied. It wouldn't have made any difference at well, that point, Well, maybe it Matt. would have, Lorna. Maybe it could have stopped Madison. Did Madison had that? his own agenda. At least we would have been prepared. Instead, Jenna was a sitting duck. Look at Dean's career. It's oh, all connected. Oh, no, no you, you know cannot it. hang that on me, pal. No, Dean did that all by himself. How can you say that, Lorna? I told you exactly what Dean would have to do to make it in the beginning. I said that he would have to do whatever the big boys asked. But no, he was too good for that. Ace wanted him in New York, but little Jenna, co-ed, was here in Bay City, and that's exactly where Dean Lorna, wanted to be. why don't you just shut up, okay? Just shut up! What do you think? We're so stupid that we don't know that this has been a setup from the beginning? What are you talking about? No, you pretended to be so many things, and none of them were real, were that's they? That's right. And, of course, when you got caught lying, well, that's the last thing you ever uh, expected Excuse me, I was the one who went to the police. Lorna, please, they were closing in on you, okay? And as soon as your career was trashed, well, you thought you may as well do the same thing to Dean, right? That is not true. You know, I thought in the very least, in the very least, she'll save the company because part of it is hers. Why don't you just Once again, shut I up. overestimated shut up. you. Shut up. Yeah, well, get out of here. Take your purse. Yeah, it doesn't feel too good to be on the receiving end, does it, Lorna? Goodbye. We could end up hating it a lot more. Why? With Madison dead, someone's going to step in as third partner here. Well, whoever it is, it couldn't be worse than Madison. Don't count on it. Thank you. Nobody knows where Dean is, Matt. Mm. Listen, I think I'm gonna go look for him, okay? You want some company? No, no, I'll be fine. Thanks. I'll see mm. you later. All right, take care. Uh, oh, Mr. Harrison, uh, hello, hi. Hello, Jenna. Uh, I came here to talk to you about Carl Hutchins. Carl? What about? Well, what does Carl have to do with me? I, I was sure you would have been told by now. What? Told well, what? A, a couple of hours ago, Carl Hutchins presented Captain Billy Cooper with a copy of a stock transfer. It's in your name, Jenna. Stock transfer? What does that yes, mean? Yes, well, that, that means that all of the assets of Sunburst belong to you. What? Yes. Why? Why would he do something like that? I don't know, but I suggest that you keep the police informed of any contact that you have with him. Well, well do I have to accept it? Well, I think you should talk to your parents about this, and please let me know if he calls you, all right? Yeah, I, I will. All Thanks. Right. Fine, fine, Jenna. Oh, uh, Matt, if, uh, if Ryan should call you, would you, uh... Well, you, <clears throat> yeah, I will. Don't worry. All right. Don't worry. Thank you. What, what, what am I going to do now, Matt? Well, uh, if you accept, you'll own a third of this company. It'll be me, Lorna, and you. But how can I accept something from Carl Hutchins? Hey, everybody. Dean, hi. Does uh, Ace need a janitor or anything? I'm totally free. I can't let Dean down, Matt. Well, 
What's your call, Jenna? I can't believe I hit you and then you ordered me a pizza. I can't believe I hit you, period. I was way out of line. You were pushing my buttons, Kevin. Yep. I guess I just wanted to see you open up for a millisecond. Worked, didn't it? I'm sorry, you know, that... That's not me. Here. Here. Eat. I'm not hungry. Can we stop going backwards, please? The world will not end if you act like a normal person, Lona. Well, no one has ever accused me of that before. Well, is that because nobody ever took the time or because... You never gave it. I guess it's just me. And anyway, since when is the DA's job to play amateur psychologist I'm or something? I'm not working, Lorna. Trying to be a friend. Well, then you're a dying breed, Anderson. Because I don't have any friends. You do now. Hello, love. It's all right. It's only me. Your secretary forgot to send me my invitation. Mr. Hutchins. Yeah. It's all right. Nobody saw me. That wouldn't be good for either of us, would it? No. No. So what do young Mr. Frame have to say? You saw Dean? Don't be so stupid, dear. Now, does he know that it was me who suggested that you drop out of the video? No. Good. I think it's best that we keep it that way, don't you? For the, uh, for the good of your career. Hmm? Yes. Mm -hmm. Right, well, off you go. Join your noisy little friends and I'll, uh, I'll be in touch. Dean, where have you been? I was around, you know, everywhere, here and there and stuff. I'm sorry, I had a couple of drinks. It's okay. Here, let me make you a cup of coffee. Okay. Uh, hey, Matt, uh, what happened in the last couple hours when I was gone? Did they give me any more jingle, jangle, <laughs> bingle, bangles to sing? Look, uh, Dean, listen, listen, I know what... It's okay, all right? I'm going to... I'm cool, man. I'm totally cool, okay? I'm fine. Sure. I just want you both to know something that I have you both here, okay? I can't write that stuff. I can't sing that stuff. I just, I... Look, and I, you know, if I never make the top 40 again for the rest, I don't... That's fine. As long as I've got my sweetheart, that's, you know, that's all I need. I mean, that's all that really matters to me. Can you live with that? I mean, is that all right? Is that okay? Is that okay? It's okay with me. Well, you might not have to, Dean. Hmm? That's right, honey. <clears throat> You're not gonna have to write any jingles. In fact, I'm ordering you to get off your butt right now and go write some real songs. Why? Why? Jenna owns Sunburst. Excuse me? Meet your new boss. <laughs> 